Hey everybody, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and I'm really excited today to talk to you and, and show you around a little bit inside of Entex Elm. So Elm is a, a media server, and um, basically you, you may have noticed that over the past few months here and in Learn Stage Lighting Labs as well, I've talked a lot about pixels and about making LED pixel things and stuff like that, but I haven't talked a ton about control yet. However, that is also a very important part of working with pixels because what's a bunch of pixels, you know, a bunch of cool looking lights if you can't control, right? So today I want to dive into Entex Elm because this is a, a media server. It's a really unique piece of software where you can get in here, quickly lay out your LEDs and be able to play video and interactive content on them. Not only that, but you can actually download it here at Entex website. You can just go here, get the demo, and when you download the demo, it's actually a fully functional demo. It just blacks out sometimes, um, but it will output to all your stuff. So even if you're not sure if you are playing with some LEDs or you've got some stuff and you're like, well, I'm not sure if this will work for me or not, um, it it's totally free to download that demo. And then if you find it works for you, you can then buy the license, which is really reasonably priced. So with that said, let's go ahead. I just launched an Elm. This is what you get at first, and we're going to do a new stage. All right. Now, we, as it explains here, you start with whatever your resolution of your media is going to be. I'm going to go 1080p here, press OK, and uh, now this is my stage. So this is basically how I'm going to lay out my LEDs, and there's a few things that I could do here. One thing I could do is if I go to my stage here, is I could grab a background image. So one of the things I like to do when I'm working with pixels that I've already got set up is take a picture, bring that in as this background image, change the opacity here, and line up all my LEDs with them. Now, I don't have a picture right now, so I'm just going to go here, add some LED strips. Let's say we do, let's say we're doing 20 strips. They're wired like this, side to side. LEDs per strip, there are 200. They're RGB, they're in a line, and they're gonna be running over SACM. So we can set all that stuff up here. It does a lot of great work for us. We can also, you know, specify anything special in here that we need to do. Press add, all right? Now, those have been automatically added, and uh, clearly I have a few more universes than I've paid for, and that's all right. So they've all been added in here, and now I can scale them, I can click all the strips. I can click some of the strips. Maybe it looks like this. Maybe there's, you know, about half the strips there. And then I click here to deselect and I can go and actually just select. Let's see, there's 20. So here I'll select on the side the second half. Whoop. And then those ones, just grab my mover here, move those are down here. And that's my set. Maybe there's a stage in the middle or something like that. All right. So. Simply enough, now I can go in, I can test them. So I like to turn this on first, and this is actually playing on the pixels, this output. So all these colors, or you can do some solid colors, you know, check red, green, blue, make sure everything's working right on your LEDs. Then one of the things I like is this one right here, the uh, gradient, black and white. But if we go here on the width and height, we can also set up this bar. And this bar is really helpful because it then allows us to go ahead and just move this bar around. And so we can check the mapping, check to make sure everything's set up right in our rig. We can go vertical. Again, check to make sure everything uh, re responds as it's supposed to. Once we're good to go there, we'll test off. We'll turn off testing and go to live. So it's really that simple. Um, Elm is pre-populated with a number of media here. And this is going to work just like a video switcher. So this is one half of the switcher. It's live right now. I can crossfade right over. I can hang out in the middle. I can uh, crossfade with this button and I can apply color filters over the whole stage as well. It's a little hard to see on this one, but if I go to like a solid white here, you can see the color filter or something that's got a lot of white in it. The color filters look really cool. So not only can you control it from the software, but you can actually fully control Elm from a lighting console as well too. Um, you can do it through USB DMX or you can also do it through um, Artnet or SAC, and it's really flexible in that. So what I just really wanted to show you here is, you know, there's a bunch of media in here as well. 
but then you can go to the media tab and you can bring in whatever media you need to these different slots. So there's the effects that are built in to Elm. There's a lot of them and they're always adding them. And all these effects are actually customizable. So you can grab an effect here, you can configure it, you can mess with the attributes of it. And even better than doing it here is you can go in live mode, pop over to this one, and then I can configure this thing. So I can, you know, set the sizing of it, set where it's sitting, just really do whatever I need to do with it and, um, you know, make it work for my show. So I hope uh, this kind of gives you a brief overview of Elm and hope you find it interesting. Let me know in the comments below if you if you want to hear more about this of working with custom LEDs with pixels and how to integrate those into your setup because it's something I've been working a lot with lately, but I want to make sure it's something that you guys want to see too. Awesome. Last but not least, be sure to check out my post on pixels at learnstagelighting.com and subscribe here on YouTube. I'll see you guys here soon. Thanks.